working on a little outback today. Uh, this particular one's having a code P0065. And it says uh, control range performance for the air inject secondary air injection systems failing. So I thought, I didn't know these had an air pump. I've never seen an air pump on this. Well, it's not an air pump. There's a lot of different designs for secondary air injection. This one introduces it through, like this is your idle air control motor, and there's a line that goes down from that under the ignition coil, and it goes to a little valve sitting right here. It's got a little purple plug on it. And from there, it goes down to a pipe, and then to the base of the intake manifold on each bank, uh, here and here. You can see where I've pulled the little line off. I'm gonna grab a laser. We'll see what we got here. Thought I had this staged pretty well, but apparently not. Yeah, that one will work. So the air goes from here down underneath the intake uh, or the uh, uh, spark plug wires for the ignition coil and goes to the little valve here and then it goes down to a brass pipe that you see down here and then from the brass pipe it comes around on this little line and goes through the rubber hose down into the base of the intake manifold on the other side it comes around underneath here up through this hose and into there you can see this one's disconnected and I've done that for testing if you take, uh, if you get a code 65, you're going to have one of three problems. You're either going to have a blockage in the line, uh, meaning that there's a blockage from here to here, or more likely it's going to be in these hoses on the side. So you take your air hose, if, see if they're clear, these ones are. You plug one side, like let me go into a tripod and I'll show you. So what I'll do is I'll hook air up to here and I'll plug one side and see if I get air on the other side I'll go to plug that side see if I get air through here I'll blow in here see if I've got air there so I don't have any blockages in any of my lines and the places where I've disconnected it is I pull the valve out and check to there check to here and check over to here and these will move around pretty easy and Normally this isn't the problem. Like I said, there's three problems. It can either be a blockage in the line, and we've proved that our lines are good, or our valve will be bad. This is what our valve looks like. Um, it just bolts in right here. And to test that, what we do, we look to see which side's the ground side by looking at the wire on the purple plug. And as you look at the purple plug, if it's facing away from you, the black wire or ground wire will be on the right side. So we'll do a quick test of our valve by hooking up the black wire from our power probe for ground on the right hand side with the plug in the up position. And then we'll apply 12 volts on this side. You can hear it click. Now you always have flow through these. They always have a little bit of flow. Um, Let's move it around to here. This is kind of gross. I'll have to wash my mouth out later, but it's nice to know real quick and I'm impatient, so I'll do this. I'll hook everything up just like I'm playing an instrument. And as I blow through it, I'll get flow. But as I open it by clicking on sending power to it, it'll blow easier. So I got a little flow. It's a real juggling act, let me tell you what. And you want to make sure not to touch your contacts inside of there. You can cause yourself to have a bad day. Um, so anyway, you can hear it clicking. You just get a lot more flow once you open it. So this is a good one. This one's perfect. So I said there's three problems, and I've just out I ruled three, uh, two of them. Can you tell I had a great time last night? I had a wonderful time last night. So, uh, yeah, my vocabulary sucks, but hopefully you can uh, get past the words that I'm trying to puke out to you and uh, understand what I'm talking about. This isn't my best video. There's not going to be a lot of people uh, that have this problem directly, but for those that do, you're welcome. I'm going to make you a video anyway. I wasn't going to film today, but I'm just like, 
Ah, screw it, it'll help somebody out. My stuff's not cut and polished. I don't have perfection Robin creation. I'll just get it out there anyway. If all of my works were perfect, I would have three videos, not 500. So I think it's more helpful to have 500, so that's the deal. So, cutting to the chase. Uh, it's not plugged lines. It's not this. So it's the computer. The computer's bad. Um, you can also see if you're getting signal um, from your purple plug. It's really hard to get that to test properly, and there's certain conditions that have to be met, and it's never that. You know, but you can trace that it's not getting the right thing from the computer. So what's the fix? You replace the computer? No. You take it to your dealership, and uh, and this is a 2002. I don't know what all ones have it, but I know 2002, 03, 04, 05. Uh, have this system. I think the newer ones do too. I think 07 I've seen it on. But long story short, you take this to the dealership and you say, hey, I need a program, uh, a PCM reflash or ECM, engine control module, power control module, whatever you want to call it, same thing, different names. Uh, but you have to take it to the dealership and get it reflashed. And that's like 100 bucks usually for now. It'll be 120 next year, and then it'll be 150 and uh, on and on as our dollar becomes less and less value so anyway i don't mean to be all depressing to you folks but as you increase the money supply the dollar goes way down in value whenever you have a ton of something the value of that thing is less so as we create more money it is worth less and less just so you know this video will probably be around for a few years i don't know what else to say I am so completely tired. What's fun is that when I'm really tired, I can still work fine. I could do this in my sleep, and it's not a big deal. Talking, not so much. Walking, I'm good. I can hike for miles and miles and miles and miles when I'm exhausted. But talking, just, I don't know what the deal is. I've got a really weak spot for talking. But uh, enough about me. Tell me about yourself. Leave it in the comments below.